hey y'all so in this video we are going to focus on brick layering as y'all can see i already started doing my client's hair and i'm going to show y'all how you can perfect your brick layering so what i do is i part the hair down the middle of the whole head and basically i'm just going to go from side to side with my parting and i'm going to show y'all how i do that Okay, and basically um, what parting down the middle does for me, it just helps me make my partings even and it gives you more control with your partings versus like not parting it down the middle. I know a lot of people struggle with getting their part their um, parts even once you get up to the top, but if you part in the middle, then you can see exactly like where your parts are going and it helps to um, just make everything even basically. And if you would like to see how I do my... Um, knotless braids then i'll post some of my tutorials that i have in the description box so basically what you're looking at now i had went ahead and cleaned the part up i put shine and jam in the parts and i just went ahead and cleaned it i'm going to show you how i do it with this right side so basically now you're seeing why i like to part the hair down the middle because it gives me more control with making the partings even from the right to the left and it also helps to the t when i get to the top and i'm not like confused at the top now you can choose to do this or you could do pre-parting but i like what i've discovered from doing pre-parting and this i like this method a little bit better so yeah i'm just parting it to the right side now and i'm just making sure that the part is even and then i'm going to clean it up with the shiny jam and yeah i'm going to show you after that Also, if you like my band, I do have some for purchase on my website. Um, I will have the link in my description box as well. I love to use this. I put my shiny jam on there and I also put my clips on there. It just makes it easier when I'm um, braiding. As y'all can see, like the clips are already right there. So I don't have to do a lot of bending because it's right there. So this band is really, really convenient. And if you're if you're interested, then go ahead and click the link in my description box. Now this is how my row looks once I finish parting from side to side. As y'all can see, it looks pretty even. That's why I like doing the parts down the middle. Now I'm gonna show y'all how you brick layer. So with brick layering, you wanna start in the middle of a braid. So right now you see the braid that I chose right there. I'm starting right in the middle of it. Now with brick layering, you want the braids to lay in between each other, which gives it the full look. You don't get the scalp look when you're doing the brick layering method. So you just wanna make sure each part is between a braid. So I'm gonna put it in the middle of this braid and then I'm gonna go right beside it to the next braid. And I'm also gonna go in the middle of that braid. So now they're laying in between each other. And sometimes what I like to do is I'll twist the hair just to make sure that it's laying in between the braids because that's how you're going to get that effect. And that's exactly how I want it to be. So I'm just going to continue to do this down the whole row and I'm going to let y'all see in regular speed.
I hope this video was helpful with teaching you how to break layer and I hope you can give it a try. I hope it was simple for you. Um, if you like this video and you're not yet subscribed, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.